Hello everyone, welcome back po sa ating YouTube channel. So in this video, ay sasagutan po natin ang items 116 up to 118 sa ating MAC examination. Okay, so now let us start. The sum of ages of five children born at the intervals of three years each is 50 years. What is the age of the youngest child? Is it four years, eight years, ten years, or none of these? Let us first extract all the given data. Ang sabi dito, the sum of ages of five children is 50 years. At ang agwat po ng bawat children is 3 years. So, if we try to assume the age of the youngest child is X years. So, kumbaga, i-assume natin na yung edad. Kasi hindi pa natin alam, di ba? Yung edad ng uh, youngest child is X. So, kung X yung ating Youngest child, that means ang second child is X plus 3. Bakit X plus 3? Kasi nga 3 years yung gap. So kung X yung first child, X plus 3 yung second child. Now, kung X plus 3 yung second child, ang ibig sabihin po nito, yung third child natin is X plus 6. Kasi mag-a-add tayo ng another 3 years dito sa second child. And our fourth child will be X plus 9. Kasi nga, mag a tayo ng another 3 years kasi 3 years ang gap. And lastly, our fifth child will be X plus 12. And this is our representation of the ages of 5 children. Ngayon, kukuni naman po natin ang sum of the ages of these 5 children. So we have X plus X plus 3 plus X plus 6 plus x plus 9, plus x plus 12, and that is equal to 50. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5x. 3 plus 6, and that is equal to 9, plus 9, and that is equal to 18, plus 12, and that is equal to 30. And this is all equal to 50. So now, let's transpose 30. So, 5x equal to 50 minus 30. So, 5x equal to 20. Now, let's divide 5 both sides. And our x is equal to 4. This only means that the age of the youngest child is 4 years old. And the correct answer is letter A. Next, we have question number 117. If father said to his son, I was as old as you are at the present at the time of your birth. If the father's age is 38 years now, the son's age 5 years back was blank. A. 14 years B. 19 years C. 33 years or letter D. 38 years Let us first understand the given problem. The statement says, I was as old as you are at the present at the time of your birth. This only means that when the son was born, the father's age was equal to the son's current age. In other words, the age difference between the father and the son at the time of the son's birth is the same as the son's current age. So, in layman's term, para mas maintindihan at paunawaan talaga ng nakararami. So, ang ibig sabihin po nito, noong ipinanganak ang anak, yung son, ang edad ng ama ay katumbas lamang ng kasalukuyang edad ng anak. So, sa madaling salita, ang pagkakaiba or deference ng age ng mag-ama sa oras ng kapanganakan ng anak ay kapareho lamang ng kasalukuyang edad ng anak. Let's say for example, ako, ako ang ama, uh, sabihin natin 25 years old ako ngayon. So, of course, yung anak ko, 0 years old. So, kung 0 years old yung anak ko, pagdating niya ng 25, kasi same age, pagdating ng 25 ng anak ko, ako ay magiging 50 years old. So, parang ito yung ipinapahiwatig ng statement na, I was as old as you are at the present at the time of your birth. So, if we try to assume that the son's present age is X, then, The difference of father's and son's present age is equal to the son's present age. 
Now, let's transpose x. So, we have 38 is equal to 2x. Then, divide 2 both sides. So, 2 divided by 2 and that is equal to x. 38 divided by 2 and that is equal to 19. So, therefore, the son's present age is 19 years old. Pero, ang tinatanong sa atin is yung edad ng anak 5 years back. So, 19 minus 5 and that is equal to 14. Therefore, the correct answer is letter A. Next, question number 118. A is 2 years older than B, who is twice as old as C. If the total of the ages of A, B, and C be 27, then how old is B? Let us first extract all the given data. A is 2 years older than B. So, ibig sabihin nito, A is equal to B plus 2. Kasi nga, mas matanda ng dalawang taon si A compared kay B. Also, B is twice as old as C. So, this only means B is equal to 2C. Then, the total of A, B, and C ages is 27. Therefore, a plus B plus C is equal to 27. And now, let's substitute this one dito kay A at ito naman dito kay B. So now we have B plus 2 plus 2C plus C equal to 27. Let us now simplify this one. So we have B plus 2 plus 2C plus C and that is 3C then equal to 27. Now, let us substitute 2C kay B. So, 2C plus 2 plus 3C equal to 27. 2C plus 3C and that is 5C plus 2 equal to 27. Now, let's transpose 2. Kapag sinabing transpose, we will subtract 2 both sides. So, we have 5C plus 2 minus 2 equal to 27 minus 2. And this is already 0. So we have 5C equal to 25. Now let's divide 5 both sides. So our C is equal to 5. Now substituting the value of C dito. So we have 2 times 5 and that is equal to 10. Therefore B is 10 years old and C is 5 years old. Now since meron na tayong value ni B, is a substitute naman natin dito. So, 10 plus 2, and that is equal to 12. So, therefore, A is 12 years old. At ang sabi po dito, if the total of the ages of A, B, and C is 27, so try natin. 12 plus 10, and that is 22. Plus 5, and that is equal to 27. So, therefore, tama ang sagot natin. Now, ang hinahanap sa tanong, Ilang taon daw si B. So therefore, B is 10 years old. And that is letter C. Okay, and that concludes our video. I hope you've learned something. At kung bago ka pa lang po dito sa ating channel, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. Huwag na rin pong kalimutang i-follow ang ating official Facebook page. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.